That was Thank awesome. you so much, guys. <laughs> That's so cool of you to share that with us. Thank you. Oh my god. Seriously. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Good. Yeah, I, I realized I said it was like a rap and it didn't make sense because um, it sounds like a rap when we do when we do it acoustic, which I love to do sometimes. So then it's like uh. Feelings went inside your chest, lighting up the darkness. The mirror is just a window to you, you never knew. Jump a bill and seven stories high. Each chapter telling of my life. Way up over and gone, our ancient history is gonna be nothing at all. Like, so that Do you know who I see picking that up? <laughs> what? Do you know who I can hear picking that song up <laughs> and putting it in the top 100? Maroon 5. Oh, wow, that's an interesting idea. That I never it kind of that. has that feel to it, yeah. That's a cool thought. I totally and I mean, they would fucking me. rock that song. I wish I could pitch it to them somehow. <laughs> well, yeah, they can book and me then they can come play with you. Yeah. yeah, no, featuring you, that's what I'm saying. That would be badass, man. I would awesome. love that. I'm on it. I'm in Nashville. <laughs> like I know a couple Elvis people. Elvis Presley. Yeah. I know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, people we'll call our people, see? You, you say, kid? You, you got, got material. Stuff, yeah. We're going to have my people call your people, and then when my people are talking to your people, things are going to happen, kid. You're going to have to come to Nashville. You're not going to be on a carnival cruise ship, like Solomon Cal said, you know. You're awesome. You... I love it. No, well, that's one thing that I have told everybody here on G+. I'm so grateful that I, I, you guys really saved me from the fate of having to go like, oh, maybe I should try out <laughs> for one of those things, you know. And I'm um, really glad that I didn't have well, to. Hey. Thanks for that. Hey, as long <laughs> as I can before... be your MC, let me know. Me or, me or Matt, oh, yeah. rap, 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 rap. Hey, I was going to ask real quick, can you give us a little? Yeah, I would love oh, I was going to say, can you give us a little bit about oh, a little quick? stories about how G Plus has gotten you some kind of, like, what's going on in your life a little quickly with musically because of G Plus or Rapid Cash? Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, definitely. Oh, well, I think if you don't know, um, my name is Daria Musk, and this summer my life sort of changed overnight because of G Plus, and um, I live just uh, outside of New York City in Connecticut in the woods in the middle of nowhere, and I was basically just singing for the trees and, and you know, just dreaming. Of, you know, maybe one day if I worked as hard as I possibly could and I wrote the best songs I possibly could and I got ridiculously lucky, you know, like total roll of the dice, maybe one day I get to, you know, sing for people all over the world and have like a real career in music. And um, and luckily I have a family who really supported me. And, you know, I think it's become a meme now. My mom, my mom always said, you know, don't have a fallback because you'll fall back on it. And and uh, and I, so I'm so grateful for that kind of support. And so with that, I just kept playing and kept gigging and kept writing and you know we kept working you know I, I met Ram and we were working together and you know just just working it working it and got to a place where uh, I was really able to be grateful for like every single time I got a chance to sing and I think that's when things really flipped you know even if we were playing for like you know the weekend before G plus basically we had one really great gig we actually got to open for the guitar player oh, awesome. the Street band Nils Lofgren and if you guys don't know his music it's amazing awesome. I was expecting awesome. something Bruce-esque because of, you know, that he plays with him, but he is like Bruce a little bit, but then a yeah. whole other animal too, and just a really incredible person, but um, brilliant, 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 but, uh, so that was an amazing gig, and that was like, you know, 700 people, but then the weekend right before uh, I discovered G+, Plus, it was raining, we were playing, uh, it packed like little sardines in this tiny club in New York City upstairs, like lugging our gear through the rain, and my older brother called me when we were, when I was on my way out to go to the show, and he was like, hey, do you uh, need an invitation to Google Plus? Like, maybe I, you could be one of the first musicians on there. And I was like, what's Google Plus? I got to go to the And um, And so after that gig and getting drenched, lugging the amps back and forth, I said, okay, what is this thing? And when I saw the Hangout, I thought maybe I could play, we could play a show, and we wouldn't have to move all our equipment, you know? And um, so basically, yeah, that's that's the long, awesome. No, it's great. Short of it, you know, is uh, then we played the concert through the Hangout this this summer and um, reached people all over the world. And we've done three concerts, and the fourth one's coming up. I wish I could leak the date. I it's not quite set, but it's definitely going to be in October. It's definitely going to be in the weekend. Probably are you playing? Are you playing in Manhattan <laughs> too, or are you going <laughs> to play in New York City? You're playing in Manhattan. A couple of gigs. What? Um, well, right now we're okay. planning concert four, and then what's happening because of G Plus is really exciting. Somebody actually told me I have to run to the newsstands, or maybe if anyone can get me a copy, tell me. Somebody actually wrote to me today and told me that I got wow. one in Billboard awesome. magazine, which is crazy. But um, so I am gonna be doing a lot of things in real life now. IRL, so, what? Not that this isn't real. <laughs> this is more real to me than anything, but. Um, yeah, so now we're going to be touring a lot of November and hitting clubs and special events um, like tech and music conferences. Oh, we're um, we're oh. probably going to be at South by Southwest.
Southwest in you know later in the year, next year and you know all that kind of stuff. So I will definitely post dates. But Concert Four is going to be another long hangout concert. If you guys haven't been to our concerts before, we play all night so that people can rotate in and out of the front seat. First one was six and a half. Yeah, third hours. third one was just under eight hours long, <laughs> and I got accused of. Oh some well, Lucas Johnson does that to me too with posting and, and some of us with hanging out. So, yeah, that's that's good. Yeah. Hey, do you? I mean, you're about to go, yeah. but do you want to play one more? It looks like you're about to. <laughs> oh no, we're just always about to play. I think maybe we'll leave it with that. Yeah. Sure. No, no, it's up to oh, well, I mean, I always. <laughs> it's up to Peter. No, no, it's up to us, Daria. And you are going to play <laughs> one more like, song before we leave Conversations Plus. See here, kid. We got you, you here, kid. Three. We gotta get you, you out of here, kid. You got a plus okay. three. It's gonna be odd numbers. It's art, kid. It's art. You gotta do it again. Bring the noise. Do it again, off. kids. That's awesome. Your story's awesome. Okay. You're awesome. You're welcome. But get back. the didn'sredo doing it somehow. We're welcome. Fan of watching. Anytime. We need the didgeridoo. Oh, look, Christopher's daughter's yeah. here. Cool. Gary <laughs> Musk. Okay. All right. So this one's called Ghost, and I guess we'll play that with this. This is on the EP, which is out in the universe. Um, for everyone to hear. And um, thank you guys. This has been so thank much you. fun. And uh, definitely I'll let you do it as soon as I know when the next concert is. So we love to meet all you guys Sweet. in person. Yeah, I'm in New York, so cool. And um, anybody who's going to take my So thank you guys. Awesome. Um, yeah, so this is Ghost. And it's about, it's about loving someone from afar. So I'm loving you guys tonight. Thank you. Yeah. I want to wear your heart like a sweater The older the better So close I can touch but my hands will slip through you Like a ghost Cause you haunt the halls, the city lights Like my favorite garage, wish you were here But you're not going along, holding my head up high Cause the kick in my step is there because I Ghost, 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 you're a ghost, 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 but you're mine. 
unmute myself sorry <laughs> awesome thank you guys so much wow three songs conversations plus daria musk and ram here uh wow i can't thank you enough it was so awesome to have oh, you our first you. musician on google plus first musician on conversations plus first uh, ever drop in guest drop in first ever drop in guest of uh, dual guests very cool peter mcdermott awesome. enjoyed you're pumping up the volume and uh i know you you said a lot 99 percent you want to you want to give a little shout out with 99 percent before you go Little 99%. Yeah, definitely. 99%. Yo, 99% all over the country. We yeah. are totally the 99%. We really are. All over. 100% of our hearts are with you. And thank you so much for thank being so you. brave. And, you know, I, I think it's clear we're really living in historic times on, on so many different fronts, you know, with what's going on, on online and then, you know, what's going on in the streets. And I think it's a really exciting time to be alive. And I'm really proud to, to you know, know all you guys. and sending out all that love and you know it's really cool that we can use you plus to stay it's my it's my main source of news now but what's going on so yeah thank you and john stewart yeah informing us and um yeah thank you guys so much for having us it was a blast it was Thanks a blast for performing. thank you thank you so much Thanks and i hope you get to thank you a full, a full show. yeah come, come back to a full show we'll book you and we'll get you in plus one plus one to you plus sweet circle everyone circle <laughs> daria musk wall we'll circle if you haven't and uh Thank you for cool. joining us, and uh, we hope to hope you much success. Wish you the best, and oh, we hope you. to have come to your concerts. Maybe we'll get special invites to your concerts in real life. Yeah, totally. That would be cool. Backstage awesome. passes. Backstage. Yeah. A lot of people's girlfriends are in there, but we can get in. <laughs> Daria Musk. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Daria Musk. All right, Musk. well, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so, so much. Bye, and, yeah, Daria. We'll definitely let you know about the concert, and you totally in. Awesome. You're with the Sweet. band. Sweet. I <laughs> Thanks, can't make guys. A dang See you. Sign. Have a great night. Thank Bye. you. Good night, Daria Musk. That was Daria Musk, everybody. Hey, so th we're not we're not quite through. Peter McDermott, you wanna you wanna give us a little bit of what you've been studying? A little bit of iPod action going on. A uh, little Occupy hangouts. Uh, what's the latest and greatest on your front, Peter McDermott? You are muted, Nothing. Peter McDermott. <laughs> just want to tell you we've got the the occupy hangouts the live thing going on here um right okay. and uh I, I just want to thank daria for dropping in i think it's amazing uh, uh what she uh what sorry, she's doing here and um i also want to plug chris for with his occupy walmart jonathan uh if you'll mute yourself please no. Thank you, John. Plus. And uh, no, I, I just kind of want to talk about uh, what's been going on with uh, Daria, and I also want to kind of mention uh, something the Onion reported, kind of sarcastically, yeah. about the passing of Steve Jobs. The sarcastic thing they did, they, they did a post and paraphrased basically uh, President Obama, according to the Onion, this is of course a farce, made a statement that said the last American that knew what the fuck he was doing has passed away. And I, I just think it's important for us to remember that innovation and invention are two important things. And without them, we wouldn't be where we are now. And we're kind of at a, a point of stagnation. Um, <coughs> you know, the advancement of aircraft uh, hasn't come anywhere since the Concorde in 1976. Um, automobiles are still using fossil fuel. I know we have a couple electric vehicles, but th they were here in the 80s. I think we, we've just become stagnant. We've become so, so engrossed with what we do online and on the computer and on ether. But what we need to do is branch outside of that. We need to create and we need to share and we need to build with each other and we need to create and invent and innovate and, and continue the progress of society. Um, one, one of the downfalls of Occupy Wall Street is it's pointing something out. And you know, I saw an interesting political cartoon where there was a, a guy wearing a button that said 99% and on his back was, you know, a huge, huge executive with a 1% with a tag on. And he was walking him towards a sign which said bonuses, raises, vacations. 
that's cool. We're all working towards that, though. We need to remember that if, if we even are a part of the corporate machine, I have a nine to five job every day, but what I focus on is creating and coming up with new things outside of that. So I, I just want to encourage everybody listening out there. Um, you know, a lot of things, a lot of the quotes you've heard about Steve Jobs, about um, his commencement at Cambridge when he talked about not knowing until uh, you're aware of your death that once you know you're naked, you have nothing to lose and, and to move forward. And if you want to put a dent in the universe like Jobs did, then go for it. Don't let anybody hold you back. There's so many trolls out there. There's so many people that are going to leave you negative comments Haters, on your YouTube so you videos. Wanna, yeah, you and them. there are people that are just going to criticize and be critical of you. You need to, you need to move past that. You need to do you. Do um, your own thing. Do what you want to do. Be your own thing. And the best advice, I, one of the best pieces of advice I ever got was from a teacher in high school in Atlanta. And he said, if people aren't making fun of you, you're doing something wrong. Right, exactly. And I want to end with that. I tell you, hey, real quick, Adam Benner said he wanted to jump in. He said he's going to a concert. Uh, sure, Adam Benner. Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us. What did you want to get in? Yeah, no problem. Um, no, you know, kind of chiming in with like, you know, the uh, I'm sorry, Peter mentioned something uh, just a few minutes ago about the, you know, the, the comment that the Onion made. Um, I don't know how many people actually read the uh, the letter that President Obama wrote about to the, you know, to Steve Jobs' wife. Um, but he wrote probably one of. Uh, Probably one of the, like the just I mean it was such a nice thing to say, but it also you know brought a lot of things into perspective. And it's just a quote out of this, and you know I'll reshare this for you guys uh, after I after I say this. But it says it says the world has lost a visionary, and there may be no greater tribute to Steve's success than the fact that much of the world learned of his passing on a device that he invented. Yeah, true. Like, that's I did. That's that true. Is, wow. I mean. Well, that's Seriously, wrong. like you know, I, that's how I found out about it. Right on your iPhone. Do you know, or... Adam? Do you know what's so funny about that? When I learned about this, it was before it hit the Google Plus stream. It was before I heard it on Twitter. My dad, who has an iPhone, sent me a text message saying exactly that. Yeah. Steve Jobs that was... had just died from my dad's iPhone. You're so right. I mean, that's that's really amazing. It's you know, and the way I mean, if you you know, like I said, I'll share this link again really quick. And I just I like. I don't want to say that like I got really like emotional about it, but it was it was one of those things that you read and it just it really touches you. Like you can tell how genuine it was, and it was just it was very well worded, very well put, and he just you know he almost it's almost like he captured you know Steve Jobs in a paragraph, which is yeah. which is by far impossible to do because of all the man had actually done, you know. But I just you know, that was something that really touched me this morning when I read it. And I just wanted to share that with everybody. Thank you, Adam. Hey, whoever's really loud, hey, can you guys mute? Is that you or not? Who's, I don't know who it is. Or Raleigh? I don't know who's really loud, John. Just a lot of feedback. Anyway, yeah, Adam, no, no, thank you for sharing that. That was that was pretty cool that you share that. And, you know, it's really true. Mm -hmm. You think what you want about um, Steve Jobs and whether he was a, uh, a nice person or a jerk or whatever, whatever he did. But the truth is he left Apple, the company that he helped form out of Garage, and then he came back over a decade later and did something pretty amazing. And you know, he also did. He also bought Pixar, and he was pretty innovative with what they did with Toy Story. And and and, and uh, I don't really know to to what extent he was involved, but he definitely made a good move there. And I just think that that's exactly right. I mean, the fact that that it popped up on our iPhone and said Steve Jobs has died. I mean, how do you? I mean, how does it get any, get any cooler uh -oh. or more profound than that? What's wrong? Who's who, Raleigh? What? Nothing. Sorry. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh. T-shirt time. It's T-shirt time. What you got? What do you got? T-shirts going on? No. It's an inside joke. Oh, inside joke on a public conversations plus. That's a no-no. You're gonna have to spill the beans on the inside joke. You can't Secret, bring it up. Secrets are no fun. Secrets Dude, it's T-shirt time. It's Jersey Shore. Come on. Oh. You don't know that. All I know is about GTL. That's it. That's all I know. You don't know STD. That's Stop something I hope to avoid. Oh, okay. GTF. Stop the drama. Wait, you're telling me yeah. STD? Wow. Stop it's, the drama. It's supposed to... Hey, right, guys, I'm out. Hey, have fun Bye, at your Adam. concert, Adam. Thanks for stopping by. Hang up conversation hey, backwards. Um, yeah, so it was, it was a pretty cool show. We mixed, we've mixed. we never mixed up before with a musician, and uh, hopefully, Peter, you enjoyed this sharing some of the spotlight. That was cool. And uh, Daria accepted your apology, which was good. I had my doubts, yeah. but, uh, you know. Yeah, and Jonathan, we're live streaming and recording. I don't. Uh, hopefully, that's cool. And uh, never met you before. How are you? Welcome. It's a variety show. 
Yeah, uh, basically. Well, this is the first. This is the first to drop in with Daria Mas, but usually it's it's just one guest. Uh, this is episode numero cuatro. But uh, yeah. Jonathan's a friend of mine from back east. Oh, cool. He's muted because he has a TV player. That happens. Uh, I don't know, Peter. Uh, is there anything that uh, you want to talk hey, about with Micro Control TV and so what's much. coming up? What people can expect from Micro Control TV in the future? And some Peter McDermott, if we circle you, what can we expect to find in your posts besides your shameless plugs and your insight? Yeah, I mean, what you can expect by circling me, and this is what's upcoming, it's kind of what I'm doing with the Share Your Workspace thing, is interaction and cross promotion and promoting new ideas and innovation. That's what I'm big on. Uh, stuff that's already established, I couldn't give two shits about because the media tells you what to do. Um, I think this is a great opportunity for us to tell each other what to do, and that's kind of what this platform's built on. So let's do that. Yeah, that sounds good. That's what we are doing. Um, anyone else want to say anything? I think we'll wrap up. Anything? Any other opinions, questions, statements that you want to say about the show, about Occupy Wall Street, Steve Jobs, Daria Musk, Peter McDermott, me, Bobby Joe, G Plus in general? Uh, any any comments, opinions, questions, statements? When are we going on uh, Sesame Street? Uh, Elmo, uh, when, can we get an invite? <coughs> I believe I can summon <laughs> Elmo. Elmo, can you come back one more time so I can talk to you real quick about uh, Sesame Street appearance? Hey, Bert. I think that was your answer. I think yeah, that was, that was I think Elmo hey, that's Elmo. That's not Elmo. That's not Sorry, Elmo. Guys. Ernie. Hey, Ernie. Have you guys Ernie. seen Bert around? Uh, I think he's all by himself. Oh, okay. Nothing, nothing going on. <laughs> he was, he was all by himself. Hey, hey, Ernie, are you a fan of Green Day, Ernie? Ernie has gone quiet. That's all right. Uh, hey, Tony, <laughs> welcome, Tony Rouse. Am I, is it Rouse or is it Ruse? I like saying Rou both Rouse and Ruse. Raise the roof. Rouse the roof. It is Rouse. It's it's uh, like mouse, but with an eye. Tony, I'm so sorry. Tony hey, Rouse. I'm so sorry. It's Anthony like, Rouse. Like, hey, Rouse. Okay, no problem, Peter. We're almost wrapping hey, Rouse. Cool. It seemed like once out of every three people I gave the link to said it was broken. Sorry about that. I have no idea what the difference is. That's all right. I just figured you were. it was an empty gesture. <laughs> Do you have to pee again, It's like, here, come in, but it's not going to work. <laughs> hey, guys. Um. Green Bay Greg just joined. Greg Dallaire, he's one of my buddies in real life. First time hanging hey, out. Hey, Green Bay Greg. Hey, Green, Green, Green Bay. Bay. Pretty good. We're live streaming and recording. And Tony Rouse uh, has liveonplus.com. And what that is shows you live events on Hangouts through G+. Him and Dan Larson made the extension. So I appreciate that. I don't know if that helped us get some viewers tonight. Thank you so much for that. And, you know, we'll be here every single Thursday except sometimes on a Monday. Next week, Lucas Johnson. You guys know him. Canadian musician, uh, Hangout Academy extraordinaire, and soon we also to soon to be living in California. We will have Byron Ripple, zombie drawer extraordinaire. He zombified me first and zombified <coughs> a lot of other people. Hope to have a lot more artists. We're also going to have Armin cooking for Halloween. We have Renata who is in here will be on the show. Uh, we also have an indie, indie artist, I think, uh, is it Lisa Garotti, I think, through Joe Martinez, no problem, enjoy Lori your smoke, Lori Garotti, my bad, um, lots of guests, yeah. and we also have uh, Joe Frawley, who is an Arnold Schwarzenegger impressionist, he has a podcast, he's pretty cool, Joseph Lee will be here, yeah. oh, and he's a gamer, they're both gamers, they both love that stuff, as well as uh, Cliff, Cliff Roth will join us, Tim Clary in the, in the new year. Bobby Joe Woods herself, Chris Perillo we're working on. We're very close to getting the Lego guy. That would be awesome. I keep getting bumped. Chris, if you are listening to us, please, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get you a Lego cake. Jonathan, or Joseph Lee will make it himself. But it was a good show. It was a great show. Great Conversations Plus. Uh, it was like more like a Conversations <coughs> Plus concert with a little Peter on the, uh, on the side. I enjoyed it. Enjoy your smokes and Kids, don't it's smoke unless weed. you're uh, you're Irish, I guess, and uh, that's, the <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the that's the lesson learned today. And, uh, yeah, and if if you ever want any great entertainment like Adam Benner or Darian Musk to join your hangouts or your events or anything like that, <laughs> let me know. I can help you out. <laughs> Peter has the inside. The inside Will, I Will I am? Will I am? I'm, I, I'm working on some some stuff with Will I am. I'm working on some stuff. Who said that? Who, Who did that? say that? Who did say that? Does my oh, name God. say De Niro? Does my name say De Niro? If Robin. You, Robin. Well, if you like, if you like the movies of Robert De Niro, Is you it? will like Conversations Plus. Thanks for watching on YouTube or wherever you're watching, and uh, have a good Is night. It?
And uh, we'll, we, hey, Daria, play us out. Oh, no. Bobby Joe, play us out with a cartoon. That won't be copyrighted or anything. Wait, right. don't forget to have your pet spayed and neutered. Thank you, Bob Barker. Thank you, Drew Carey. See you here, kid. See you. Oh, yeah, yeah. One for you and one for me. Yeah, oh, that's right, kid. Yeah. Everybody say, everyone join us. See, see, everyone do an impression. Ah, yeah, yeah everybody. We'll see you see. see, huh? He's got that show, huh? Do it. Huh? You were on it. You were on it. I'm talking about, kid. Yeah. This bunny is copyrighted. Yeah, when you were no, kid, you used to know what this was. Are huh, you, kid? You guys no, you are don't. too young for this, huh? You don't understand. Yeah, Bugs Bunny's a cartoon. See? He was on in the afternoon. See? He ate carrots. See? Don't you know? Don't you know about him? <laughs> Hey, what about you, Christopher Lira, and that, that girl next to you? You you know Bugs Bunny, yeah, yeah? Yeah. You know about Blackface, what, what? Super Dave, what? Is he on the show? Next week, next what? week, maybe. Oh, wait, he's here. Oh, wait, who, who said that? Who said that? Oh, my God. Raleigh, you've gone to black, and I don't mean your color of skin. I mean the video screen. See, see? We're having a good time. That was Bobby Joe Woods. All right, till next week, yeah, Lucas Johnson. Join us again, same bat time, same bat channel, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Nice to meet you, Greg. Thanks for dropping by. This will be edited, so if you made a witty comment, it might not get in there because we might have cut it out, or maybe not. All right, Matt Rappaport, Bobby Joe Woods, Peter McDermott, Daria Musk, Ram Ray, Rich, Rich, Ram? He's Ram. Uh, Raleigh Burke, Renata Sherwin, uh, Tony Rouse joined us, Matt Musgrave, lots of Justin Lee questions, yeah, Christopher Lira and his daughter. My pleasure. Uh, Jonathan, Greg, Jonathan, John Fanavans, thank you for waking up for us, and uh, good night.